What are we waiting for? We have to be careful. Careful? We've been on the road for five days. My back is done being careful. Doesn't look like anybody's home. Damn. Nailed down tight. I'll check around front. I'll go with you. Well, it'd be good to know if anybody's actually back there. Could probably get a better view from up top. You'd have an easier time getting up there. You feel like taking a look? It'd be just like climbing a treehouse. Yeah, just a, a really tall treehouse. I had a treehouse once. Well, there you go. I hated it. Oh. Just take it slow, and I'll catch you if you fall. Probably. Got a good grip? Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to jump rooftops downtown. Now that was fun. That sounds stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was. The trick was not to look down, though. <gasps> oh, 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 you're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. All right, just, just slow down. Just for a second, okay? You look like an idiot. Just climb the thing. Made it. Ah! You see anything? It's really dark. I can see the bridge. Wait, I see something. What is it? A light. W wait, there's another. Luke. Luke. Listen, everyone, just stay calm. Who are you? Are you trying to rob us? Excuse me, honey, but do I look like a fucking thief? Everyone calm down. Hey, man, you calm the fuck down. Sarah, get behind just me. Just tell us who you are. We ain't here to rob nobody. Put the gun down, fuck man. Fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Please, just do what he says. Holy shit. Wait, you know this guy? Clementine? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. These people with you? We can talk inside. Great. I just started dinner. Are you sure you don't mind? It's gonna storm soon. Please, come in. Kenny and Sarita have been staying with us for several weeks. Used to be a ski lodge, obviously, so we have plenty of food. And uh, believe it or not, we still get some power from that wind turbine out front. We tend to keep most of the lights off at night to avoid drawing attention. But after we found this stuff in storage, we couldn't resist making an exception. What's funny? Oh, nothing, Walt. Walter here's one smart bitch. 
Makes a mean can of beans, too. Well, why don't you two catch up while I get some dinner started? Please, make yourselves at home. You can leave your things over there. The hell we will. Yeah, I'm holding on to my rifle. Thanks. You're our guests here. There's no need to worry. Tell him to put his gun down, then. Kenny? Will you vouch for these people, Clem? If you tell me they're good, then I'm Us. Good. You were the one waving a gun around, man. They're cool. Dad, look! A Christmas tree! Not now, Sarah. Isn't it great? We found it all in storage. It's amazing. Good. If you'll all follow me, I'll show you where you can sleep. Still wearing this dirty old thing, huh? You know, I half expected to see Lee walk up next to you. You guys were like two peas in a pod. Oh shit, I didn't mean to... It's just hard not to think about it, you know? He saved me. I knew it. I knew he would. That guy had a fire in him, sure as shit. Hell. He was a hell of a guy. When my son, well, he took care of him. I'll never forget that. So, where'd you end up? I was with Krista and Omid. Omid, well, Krista and I were together for a while. These guys caught us. She's gone. Sounds like it ain't been easy for you. I'm sorry, darling. I wish I could have found you sooner. But everything's gonna be fine now. Krista told me you were dead. I am. This is all a dream. <laughs> sorry, bad joke. For some reason, I tried to save that fucking shitbird, Ben. Then it turned into a damn cluster. Couldn't help the kid, but I got out. Long story short, I got lucky. Real lucky. Spent a long time alone after that. It, uh... And then I met Sarita, thank God. Gosh, it's great to have you back. You two catching up? Clem, this is my girl, Sarita. Ain't she beautiful? Nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, Walt, where's Matthew? He's still out there rooting around? Of course he is. Well, I'll start dinner. Carlos, right? Mind if I steal your daughter for a secret mission? Stay in sight, sweetie. Can we do anything to help? Could use a hand outside. We got a lot of supplies to bring in before that storm hits. Sure. Clem, why don't you help Walt with dinner? Hey, Clementine. Settling in well enough? Yeah, thanks. Excellent. Want to help me prepare a little dinner? So how do you know Kenny? He and Sarita have been a huge help. We're old friends. I met him after it happened. When he was with Lee? Yeah, he only told us a little. Connecting with people is so important. 
I don't know what I'd do without Matthew. Gosh, you remind me of my students. I can't imagine what it's like growing up in the middle of all this. Everyone underestimates me. I expect you've used that to your advantage. Sometimes. Smart girl. Mmm. Almost done. Would you do me the honor of tasting the first course, madam? What is this? Le Walter Surprise. An autumnal legume salad with a peach roux. It's peaches and beans. That's all we got. Huh. Striking resemblance. Anyway, I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Reminds me of school. What's this song you're having? I haven't seen Who one of these since. since. It's my favorite Christmas song. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant march what a all funny night little through guy. a cold winter storm to reach the man. The storm is very strong. After a long time, it gets so cold that the servant can't go on. But the king tells the servant to just step in his tracks. Mark my footsteps, good my page, tread thou in them boldly. Thou shalt find the winter's rage, freeze thy blood less coldly. I don't get it. <laughs> it means that doing good things for people can be good for you too. But the servant wouldn't have been out there in the first place if the king hadn't made him. <laughs> good point. Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. It's crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I think someone was following us. How do you know? How does she know? We have to assume they're back there. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back.
She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. What does Matthew look like? Oh, he's a handsome man. Little shorter than Walter. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, hon. I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Why don't you go see if your friends are ready for dinner, Clementine? Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean, how can anyone now? It's not gonna be easy. I know it's gonna be hard, but at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. If he finds out it's not his, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. He won't kill you. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem! So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clem? I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible! Thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family? Wife and kid. He lost it a little after that. Lost it how? Well, he drinks. Oh. Well. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? 
Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? A place. Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice, I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying? What? Excuse me? Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Ah, uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty and you grease the wheels. We're gonna leave in the morning. No, no, you gotta stay. We have to keep moving. Clementine, in this world you don't have to do anything. They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? It's never that easy. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon, and everything will be fine. Hey kids, what are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you, then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put. I'll be right back. I have a 
little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm eleven. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. <laughs>